Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. Um, so I took a break from pretty much everything. Michael and I haven't recorded a podcast episode in a long while. Um, actually, we just released season two on Saturday. Um, we ventured into the true crime area of podcasting genre not area anyway so that is back up podcast is back up season two homicide with the hamplecocks um if you love true crime check that out we're actually still under um home with the hamplecocks so if you search us on spotify or itunes um you would search for home with the hamplecocks we've just renamed season two or we've just named season two homicide with the Cox. um i'll leave some links in the description below if you want to check that out um but today i was going to do something easy casual just because i want to talk and get back into things and just keep it like light um there's a lot going on in the world i have been very vocal on my facebook and instagram page um throughout this time and I just haven't felt right posting a video about anything because I just don't know I mean I know what I want to say and I know what I feel like I should say but I don't know that I know how to say it correctly and to be completely honest cancer culture can't what cancel culture really scares me and so I'm just afraid of saying that one little wrong thing and then it just like blowing up and um not that i'm afraid of being canceled just i guess i'm afraid of just um i don't know saying the wrong thing and then just having everyone hate me because that's like i'm a people pleaser so that's a whole other thing that's anyway um so we're gonna keep it light I'm going to talk a little bit about the heavy stuff, but not too much. And it's just going to be kind of a quick, simple, easy little first video to get back into the swing of things. Um, first, before we do that, I am switching up my schedule. I'm only going to be posting on Mondays and so because we're going to keep Makeup Mondays. So I'll still be posting on Mondays. And it may not be makeup every week. It might change. The content might change a little bit. I don't know. Just depending on what I want to do. Maybe some vlogs. Maybe some um, baking or gaming. I don't know. We'll just see. Um, but it'll always definitely, you know, if it's not makeup Monday, it'll be something else. But if it's not something else, it'll always be a makeup Monday. Um, and then I might post on Thursdays. Maybe if I feel like I have a little bit of extra content or, um, you know, there's a vlog that I feel like would be really fun for that week, I might post that on Thursdays too. But once a week, for sure, Mondays is what I'm going to do. I feel like I stretched myself too thin before, so we're going to back down a little bit, and then if I feel like I could do more, I'll do more. Um, so let's get into it. So I thought it would be fun today. To go through some of the makeup that I haven't used in forever and use it. So I have this one little drawer, this little bin of just different makeup that I don't ever use. And so I'm going to do a full face of makeup with only what's in this bin. And right off the bat, I don't think that I have... Um, I don't think that I have foundation in here, um, but I do think I, I see concealer. So we're only going to be concealing today. We're not going to be full facing today. So that is, we're off to a great start, y'all. Okay, so I also found a can, a can, pot, a little flower pot of brushes that I don't ever use. So to go along with our theme... I can only use these brushes. We'll see how this goes. Okay. So I have a primer in here. That's legit. A color correcting 
primer from Ulta. So, start with a little bit of primer. I am breaking out super bad right now. So, ignore my mountains. My honkers on my face. Okay, so we're just going to prime... In all the areas. This will give me an excuse. Or, uh, it will make me wash my face tonight. Because I've gotten super lazy about that. Just, I never wear makeup. And if I don't sweat or feel gross for that day, then I just don't feel the need to wash my face at night, which is really dumb, but that's what we call lazy girl. Lazy girl. Okay, so let's see what we can find for a base. Like I said, I think I only have concealer. Okay, so I was right. All I have is this concealer. So we're going to conceal. It is CoverGirl, but it's in 705 Fair. I always buy the lightest shade because um, that's what I know I'm going to need. So since we left, last talked. The world has gone a little crazy. Um, gosh, I know why I stopped using this. It's heavy on the skin, man. Um, the world has gone a little crazy. And in a sad way. I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess there's no good crazy way that the world can go but it's not going well for the world okay i have this elf angled foundation brush i'm gonna use that to buff out my concealer um just so we're all on the same page the things that i've been posting on social media are in support of Black Lives Matter. They are in support of wearing a mask. They are in support of, um, you know, just all the fundamental common sense things that I think we as humans need to be doing. Um, I believe that the All Lives Matter movement, well, it's not even really a movement, it's just an excuse for racist people to act like they're not racist. I don't know. Um, it's bullcrap. And I think Black Lives Matter is a movement that we need to keep going and that we can't let die down and fade away. We need to keep black um, voices strong no matter, you know, what the next crisis is. This is going to be a crisis that if we don't solve, it's going to happen for a long time. And we just, you know, it's not going to go away. And it shouldn't go away until it's taken care of properly. Um, so, that's my stance on that. I have some really great articles that I love that I've been sharing that I will put in the description below. Um, yeah, so I'm always open for a conversation. Um, if you want to have a civil conversation in the comments, if you want to send me an email, if you want to message me on Instagram, um, I'm always open for a civil conversation about things and I would love to provide ways 
for you to educate yourself if you just don't know. I mean, I'm educating myself because I don't know. Because I am white and I have white privilege. White privilege is real. And so I think that we just need to keep educating ourselves and keep the movement alive. Um, just like I think we need to be wearing masks and social distancing because... It's real, it's gonna come back, and we look, America as a whole looks stupid right now. So, anyway, that's about all my stances. I, I, I guess I'm very liberal in that way, but let's not talk about that too much. I have fake lashes I can put on, but I don't know that I'm going to do that. Because I'm not going anywhere, and I don't want to waste them. Okay. So next, let's do, I guess we should do a little bronzer. I have this liquid, not liquid, like foundation stick bronzer, like a cream bronzer, or contour, contour stick. Wow, man. I am bad, bad with it today. You can tell I haven't done my makeup in forever. Okay. We're just gonna contour just a tiny. Oh my gosh, that was that was rough right there. I should probably just throw this away because it's basically out. And I probably have held on to it because I love this thing and I used to use this every day, as you can tell. And I don't even know where I got it. Like I've worn the labels off of it, like there's yeah, there's nothing on it now and I probably just keep it for nostalgia's sake because I don't want to throw it away because it's my favorite but I need to see if I can find something similar to it or the same thing I loved that it looked as you can see hopefully it'll look good on my skin but it used to look so good on my skin healing on my forehead I got a really bad sunburn like last week so I'm peeling pretty much on my forehead and on my chest that's a cute look for me okay okay looks great um now, okay, I have some powder. I don't have a powder brush, though. But this has a poof in it, and hopefully I didn't throw away the poof. <gasps> I didn't. Whoa, that just went everywhere. Okay, so now we'll powder my face. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so messy. Now we'll just powder. Ooh. I think this powder I got in a um, boxy charm box one month. I don't do boxy charm anymore, but I did. And I loved it. If you guys would be interested in boxy charm unboxings, let me know. Because I would do that again. Boxy charm is fun. And I think if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of makeup, I think it is perfect because you get like a variety of things and it just is a great way to like expand and grow your makeup collection. And I have a lot of things that I still, that I use from BoxyCharm and that I like like gone and rebought after I finished them up because I discovered them from Roxy Charm, and so it's a great way to just like learn products. Okay, this won't go on right. Oh, this is gonna look so bad. <laughs> okay, um, let's move on to eyebrows real quick. Let's see what I have. What's this? A lip pencil. I got a bunch of lipsticks in here bunch of lipsticks um eyebrow cream lip gloss is this an eyeliner 
gel waterproof gel pencil. Okay, so it looks like the only eyebrow thing I have is this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. So this will be, this is it, this is the one. And it, so, it is soft brown. And it's probably a little too dark. Probably why it's in my drawer. I haven't plugged my eyebrows in forever. So this could become a disaster. I might have some real bushy eyebrows. Oh, right like that. Good job, Rachel. Ooh, that is dark. Oh my gosh. I don't have a spoolie. Oh no. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to roll with it. Oh man. Oh man. My too much gene took over. Okay, see that one looks so much better. Oh my gosh. This is probably why this ended up in the drawer. Listen y'all, I'm not a beauty guru at all, that's for sure. All fun and games until you smear your eyebrows. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here's a plan. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Do I even post this video now? Oh my god. Okay, here's an idea. We're going to take this concealer. And we're going to take this line define brush and we're gonna fix this up a little bit because man that's trash okay that's a little better it's still so dark I don't know how to fix that okay let me define the other line other brow this is why this is in my drawer it's so dark on me. Okay. Um. This could be going a lot worse, I guess. Also, it doesn't help that my brows are like two totally different shapes. Um. That does not help at all. Okay. Well, we're going to move on. Um. I don't have to leave the house, so like, it should be fine, you know? I'll just wipe it off real fast. Look, there's a whole chunk right here. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm done. I gotta stop. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Alright, now we'll go to the eyes. So I have this Tarte, um... Rainforest of the Sea palette that I got in a boxy charm, so I could use that. Ironically, I have a bunch of palettes that I could use. I have an Ulta Beauty, Ulta, Ulta. My sister hates the way I say it. Just like a sample palette. I love the shades in that. I have a um, City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow. That I think I got in a boxy charm. Um, I have all oh, this. I love this. I have the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. I actually just need to throw this one away because I got a new one. Um, because I hit pan on like almost all of these. Um, so I probably won't use this one because I use this one every day. Anyway, this one's in this bin just because I got a new one. So I won't use that one. We'll challenge myself a little bit. Um, so let's see. Ulta Beauty. Or Tarte. 
See, I used, I've used both of these quite a lot. Okay, let's do something crazy and let's use both. Okay, so, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush. It is a Correct Conceal. Oh my gosh, this is the brush I needed earlier, guys. Um, Correct Conceal brush. And I'm gonna use it as my transition brush. And I'm taking Vintage from this Ulta Beauty palette. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. Okay, now I think I'm gonna take I think I'm going to take the spoolie thing that comes in this palette and I'm going to take this nostalgia and I'm going to put that all over my crease, all over my lid, not my crease. So I'm re-watching One Tree Hill. This is probably like the fourth or fifth time that I've watched it and it's so funny to me how everything the first couple times that you watch a show and this might just be me I don't know but the first couple times that I watch a show everything st seems to go like super slow it feels like the plot lines take a million episodes to run through and then when I like watch it again after like a couple of times everything happens so fast it's so weird like that happened like I don't want to spoil anything so spoiler alert but when the whole plot line of Chris Keller and Haley that happened so much faster than I remember it happening and like but but at the same time her leaving with Chris Keller happened so much slower than I Thought like I thought that happened first before her and Nathan started having problems. So, um, it's just funny like the things you remember and how you remember them versus like how it actually is. And if you've ever watched One Tree Hill, tell me in the comments who your favorite character is and why and what your favorite thing about the show is and why one tree hill is probably like my favorite one of my favorite shows i love it um yeah so that's currently what i'm watching when i'm not adulting and doing schoolwork and all that because i'm in summer class so that's great okay now i think i'm gonna take this shade starfish whoa right here and I think I'm gonna put that in the outer corner and I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush from elf and just kind of work it into the outer corner so as some of you probably know and if you're new you probably don't know I'm in law school and last semester because of everything going on with um we halfway after spring break we continued classes online and now the law school and pretty much every school in my state are trying to decide uh what they're gonna do for the fall and it's just been really interesting to see like what what their plan is and just how reluctant they are to make a straight decision um and i think that's partly because okay hold on i'm taking this off duty shade it's like a really dark brown and I'm just kind of kind of put it in the middle but it's really interesting to see how reluctant they are to make a decision because they really want to be back 
they really want to be back on campus but it's, we're just not certain that it's safe enough and so they just it's just funny to see not just my law school but pretty much all school administrations just struggle with like making a definite plan and answer and while it's funny it's also very aggravating because it's like I need to know what I'm doing and uh, yeah I don't know I just I wish that we could all agree that it's a safety hazard that there's a real risk and we need to like take it seriously I wish we could all get on that page but we can't and I and that makes me sad okay now I'm gonna take my the spoolie thing that we got and my contact is really killing me okay and I'm gonna take this shade delicate right here and I'm gonna put it in my inner corner I bring it up a little bit into the crease too I love the shine that it gives so pretty so pretty okay I need to go back and put a little bit of this under there loving that okay now let's add a little bit of eyeliner because I can look at this I have this what is it gel pencil but I also have in here a sharpener because I know it needs to be sharpened so we can sharpen it ugh past Rachel looking out I look crazy right now it's a good look okay Got that sharpened. I've never been good with pencil liner, so this will be interesting. But how much worse can it get? You know, my eyebrows look crazy. Can't get any worse, and I shouldn't say that. Okay, I think I'm gonna kind of smudge this out a little bit. I don't want a crazy harsh eye today. Okay, I'm loving that. Okay. I'm going to hop off and do my other eye real quick and then we will come back and finish my face. So I finished my other eye and I've added my mascara. I have some Better Than Sex mascara. This is one of the products that I got a sample of in my BoxyCharm and then I loved it so much that I bought another one and it's super expensive it's not drugstore but um I love it and I felt like it was worth the price um I haven't used this in a long time and I it's probably in here because it's drying out and it, there's not much left um so I probably should just throw it away but okay now I have like a bronzer in here that I could use but I don't want I don't feel like this makeup look needs it and it just got all over my head so we're just going to go straight into a lip and then we're gonna call it um because my eyebrows look so bad that I don't want to keep being on camera so I'm gonna take this Mary Kay lip gloss in the shade pink parfait and we're gonna apply that Fun fact, I used to be a Mary Kay consultant. So I have a lot of little Mary Kay stuff laying around from those days. Okay, we're done. So, this is the final look. It looks so good with my greasy bun hair. Ugh, just perfection there's the eyes anyway so that's what I can do all the makeup I don't use anymore um 
if you have a bin like this where you have a bunch of makeup that you never use, I challenge you to do a full face and makeup with it. Send me a picture. Leave a picture in the comments below. And have fun with it. It's kind of fun to go back and see if there's anything in there that you don't use but you want to start using again. Or that you feel like you should throw away now that you're like, ooh, that I probably shouldn't still have this. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys next week in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good week, everyone.